top of that mountain is burning pretty good. Collect it while I see it. Another bite. Hope he stays on. But yeah, I got one. Howdy. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. It's a pretty uh, big hornet nest. Those are bald-faced hornets and a pretty nest for sure. So it's been a really bad year here in BC for uh, fires. There's one behind me over here. I'll uh, show you a little uh, closer up. See some flames through there. And the top of that mountain is burning pretty good. Got some flame, some candling going on over there too. A little bit right there. So I'll just show you how smoky it is um, from that fire that I showed you. Can't really see the mountains. Can't really see very far. Like I can smell the smoke in the air. But anyway, I'm going to tell you what we're up to in this video. Despite the smoke, we're going to go to a hike in spot. Finn and I, where the bull trout only have to be 12 inches long, so I want to hike to that spot because to catch one that's legal uh, in this area, next to impossible. So I want to go where it's a 12 inch size limit and hopefully catch the elusive bull trout. I'm going to go with minimal gear as well. Yeah, so the uh, there is a smoke advisory warning. They're saying that uh, people with breathing problems, uh, the elderly should stay indoors. And uh, senior citizens, they say, they can't take the smoke. It's a good thing I'm not a senior citizen yet because I want to do this hike. But uh, I don't get the point of staying indoors. Uh, it must be the same air that's outside that's inside your house as well. Unless you have an airtight house with um, you know a filter system for your air inside the house then that would be fine and dandy but nobody that I know has that around here anyway so obviously whatever they're breathing is coming from the outside anyway so I don't know correct me if I'm wrong maybe there's a benefit to staying indoors but for me, um, staying in my hammock won't make a difference, so it would be nice to get out of the smoke. Maybe it won't be as bad up this valley that I'm going to hike to, and hopefully I can catch one of these bull trout for a catch and cook, and uh, just pack light. And actually, I'm surprised that they haven't even shut the bush down completely at this point, because there's fires all over the place, and uh, some years that's what they do. They uh, completely shut the bush down. You're not allowed to drive even on the back roads. But they haven't done that, so we better get cracking before they do and get out to the spot and try to catch a trout, bull trout. That's what I'd like. Right on. So we'll get packed up and head out. We're at the end of the road. We're at the trailhead. And I'll show you what I'm bringing for my overnight. The fishing rod. And I've got two rubber minnows. I'm going to bring two rubber minnows. Barbless, unscented, because if they're scented it's considered bait. I've got my barbless meps. And I'm going to bring a plug that floats actually. I'm going to try the plug as well. Actually i got to put a hook on this one I noticed. So we'll do that. Obviously I need the backpack. I've got my tarp. I don't feel like building a shelter on this uh, one night adventure. And then I have to bring the Coleman stove to cook on. And I have to bring a pot to make tea. 
and a frying pan. I should clean these out, obviously. I will. And that's it. Okay, I forgot about two more items. I'm gonna bring my coat in case it rains and I can use that as a blanket. And my pocket knife. It's a Lars Fault pocket knife that my buddy gave me, my buddy Tim. The other thing that I don't have here yet, but I will bring, is my Defender. This is real prime grizzly country. I don't trust bear spray as I've mentioned before. I want to feel safe down there when I'm way in the bush, away from my truck. So I will bring the Defender. I don't have it here to show you, but you've seen it before. So enough said, I'll pack this stuff up and then we will get going. Got the shotgun now. I'm bringing three solid slugs for it. Two, two and three quarter inch, and then I got a 300 Magnum solid slug. I'll just pack the gun. Well, I might need it. It wouldn't do much good in the pack if you saw a bear on the trail. I don't see why you would want it in the pack unloaded in the fishing rod. And away we go. I almost forgot. <laughs> I got got to bring the uh, can of food for Finn. I forgot that. <laughs> At least I only went 20 yards. What's this? Hey, is that for you? So something I forgot to mention was, you know, I came up to this valley and uh, the Columbia Valley near the flats is just thick, full of smoke like you saw in the beginning of the video. And here, the air is perfectly clean. So, man, I might spend two nights up in here. It's just a nice break from all that smoke down in the other valley. It's just crystal clear up in here, I'll show you. Like you look, you can see the mountains. It's perfect. Other thing is too, I called the shotgun shell a 300 Magnum. I meant three inch Magnum, not 300 Magnum. That's a different caliber altogether, not a shotgun. Anyway, should be a good trip. Okay, so we're at the creek, but I still got to hike quite a ways down the creek to the main river because there's not really any fishing possibilities in the creek really. Um, got to get to the main river. It's time for a break, that's all. But, since I'm here anyway, there's some horsetail, I may as well collect for tea. In case we don't get any fish, I'll at least have a good tea. I'll collect a bunch of that. That's enough for a pot of tea. All right. Collect it while I see it. Something I thought about, I should mention, is when it comes to horsetail tea, you shouldn't drink it every day and not too many times a week. It has a high concentration of vitamin A, which can build up, become toxic. So keep that in mind. Horsetail tea in moderation is good for you, as long as you don't have too much or uh, becomes toxic because of the vitamin A but does contain a lot of silico, silica, which is good for your hair. Just gotta watch your step because a lot of loose boulders. want to break an ankle that would put a real damper on the trip good 
Ooh, it'll stay. Stay. Nice. Nice shady spot to just sit and take another break here. This moss is so nice to sit on. Nice and dry. And shady. No mosquitoes. Love it. I love it. And we'll carry on in a few minutes here. It's hot out. Well, I got a couple more holes to try. I'm still using that rubber minnow and um, no bites yet, but the pools, I mean, they've looked really nice. Got another spot here I'm gonna try. So at that other pool up there, I ended up losing my rubber minnow. So I'm gonna put my MEPS on. There's another spot here I'm gonna try. But if I don't get one like pretty much right away, I'm just gonna have to get the shelter and just have horsetail tea. That's what it'll be. So go try this other spot here. I don't wanna get too far from where I wanna camp. So, you know, I've been fishing most of the day and uh, nothing yet I just had I just had a bite but he <laughs> got off pretty fast water too for the spinner well I'm hitting some really nice looking pools but uh, I had that one hit finally some action at least with the maps uh, we'll keep trying. There's another spot I want to try a little further down. <laughs> then, promise me, we will go get the bed ready. The moss bed. Or I'm going to run out of daylight or something. But it's getting smoky in the area again. You can see behind me there's smoke again in the air. So, so I don't want to keep hiking and hiking. Another bite. Hope he stays on. Yeah, I got one. How do you... I don't know if he's big enough. Let's see. Okay, I gotta measure him. It's very close. That's for sure. Well, I may as well try for one more. I am pretty hungry. And uh, that would be even better. But that'll do. Oh, 
We got snagged again. White meat on this one. Yeah, it sure clouded over in a hurry and got pretty smoky on us here. Nope, nope. Well, I caught my, broke the tip off my fishing rod. Okay, well, I'll have to fix that. Anyway, I got my fish already, I guess. Of course, I had to break it right when I, I'm almost at the spot. Well, okay, good to go. I actually want to get a little further away from the creek. I thought about this spot here there's a lot of debris, sticks, things that are going to poke into me. I'd rather be up on this hillside that I see here. My legs are sure getting sore. That was a lot of hiking. But this looks better. And I like the fact we're a little further from the creek. And also, this moss. I got lots of thick moss here. So, but it looks like it could rain. So we got to get this set up right away. Right up in here, I think. Oh boy, it's good to get that off. I think right in here, man, that's nice and thick and soft. I don't have a lot of debris to clean. I don't care about the uh, bunch berry. There's not a lot of twigs. Nice and thick. The moss is just incredibly thick. That's my bed. I think I'll just make a pillow up here. Oh, well, it's so soft anyway, I don't really even have to. Like, I mean, this is just fine. Just like this. Got my coat. I do have the tarp. I'd be hating to sit up in the rain if it rained in the night, but I don't think it will. So I might not bother with that. I could always just pull it over myself, like just drape it over like a blanket. Um, I just don't have a lot of daylight. So, and I want to cook the fish too. Pretty darn hungry. That was a lot of hiking, a lot of hiking. I'll probably just have my tea in the morning because otherwise I've got to walk back to the creek to get water. I've had enough for today. I'm happy with the fish. Got some rock tripe here too. This is rock tripe. Make flour out of it. Stove. Hey, there's a raspberry right there. Perfect. That's pretty level. Okay, put the tank up. There's our little pan fry. 13 inches. I don't have butter, but it's the way it goes. This is going to be good. 
Too bad no bullies. Skin will probably stick like crazy. I think it's done. Don't worry, Finn. I got your food, too. It's been a long day. Probably good I got this guy. I haven't seen much for plants or berries. A few raspberries. Some horsetail. But really, not much in the way of plants or... This is what I needed. No doubt. Sorry, Finn. You have to stick to your food. I can't afford to give you any of this, man. So I'm going to finish this up. There's a couple more little raspberries here. Now I'm ready for bed. Got my tarp if it rains. It's been an awesome overnight adventure. I mean, I like these short overnight adventures where you you just get out, you see the scenery, you have fun. And uh, to have this fish is great. But I want to keep the adventures going for you folks as well. I know I've read comments where some of you just live through the videos because you can't get out and do these things yourself. And uh, I enjoy doing it. I do like the short ones, they're a little easier, and uh, I'm going to head to bed after this fish. Okay, well, I am set. got the tarp handy, I've got this handy, keep it there. Got a nice, oh yeah, I mean this is so comfortable, you can't even believe it. And I'm not on too much of an angle where I'm going to slide down the hill, I kind of got a a divot here perfect pillow in the rock tripe yeah I'm gonna sleep good Finn where are you make sure he's nearby he's kind of my ears and eyes at night time so okay uh, how about you go over there and lie down no over there up there no over here Oh, you smashed the camera. See how he, he just smashed his head right into the camera. Okay, just find a spot, go to sleep. And we'll see you in the morning. Oh, morning. As you can see, it did rain. I had to cover myself with the tarp. And, uh, but anyway, it looks like it could rain again. So, I don't think I'm going to worry about the horsetail tea. Um, I think we're just going to pack up and head back to the truck. I've got more adventures coming up, but I'll just show you here how wet the tarp got. It didn't start raining until it started raining in the, I don't know, maybe a couple hours before light. So, most of the night it was fine, but. I was fine with the tarp just over top. Quite comfortable. I was warm enough. Anyway, I'm going to pack up and head out. I really appreciate you viewers. Thanks for watching. And we will see you on the next one. Next one I've got a bushcraft item that I'm going to build. And I think you'll uh, really appreciate that video. Well, hopefully you appreciate them all. Thanks for watching. Well, <laughs> almost at the truck, but this one hill, whew, it's not an easy hill, this one. It's like about a mile long and it's very steep, but we're almost there, almost there. Looks like a tree you got. Bring it here. Go get your stick. Go get your stick. 
Is that your stick? It's more like a tree. Get it. Bring it. <laughs>